Hey guys, it's Chris Appleton and I'm really happy and excited to be part of Sunday Time's first ever digital beauty festival. Today I want to show you guys how I create flat iron waves. Flat iron waves are basically the voluminous wave. So that's what I'm calling it, the voluminous wave. A lot of girls are, you know, wanting looks that create less volume in the hair. So it's kind of more chic. When you normally curl hair, you get a lot of volume. Not everyone likes that. So this is a really cool girl, effortless kind of look with minimum volume. Okay, step one with the flat iron wave is using the Color Wow Extra Shine Spray. Now, I love this stuff because it gives the hair such a great shine. So taking a section of hair, um, which effectively is just wide enough um, and enough hair to fit in the flattening iron. Now the flattening iron I'm gonna use is the new Dyson flattening iron. I love it because it's cord cordless. Obviously it's a godsend having a cordless flattening iron. And I love it because it has really controlled plates. So as I'm putting them through the hair, it's much easier to navigate. So I'm gonna do an S shape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna effectively bring the hair forwards and backwards. Um, think of an S shape and I'm opening and closing the irons as I'm going through. So literally backwards and forwards, pushing the hair into the iron as I go down the hair shaft all the way through to the ends, just rotating it backwards and forwards in the S pattern shape. Now what you should get is something that looks like this. So you can see how shiny it is and how glossy it is, that's the shine spray. Get really nice controlled S movement. So it's bending it one way, the other way, one way, the other way. Just feeding it into the irons and clamping it as you go through. I'll do my next section. I'll take a bit of a closer section so you can see in a little bit more detail how to do the look. All right, guys, what's amazing about these flattening irons also that I, I particularly like is it actually monitors the temperature of the heat a hundred times per second. Therefore, it's really protecting your hair and there's no excess heat damage. So so once you get into it, um, it's actually a relatively repetitive technique. Now, the great thing about this is, like I said, you get no volume in the wave. So you get that really defined wave, which is much cooler without the volume, I feel. Um, and also it's kind of on trend right now. Just make sure that you go all the way through to the ends and you'll notice that I'm opening and closing the iron as I go through. And that's a really important part of the technique. The fact that these plates move as you kind of clamp it through really, really helps because um, it stops you having to do as many passes on the hair, um, therefore helping with any heat damage. So I'm going to take this next section on the top. Again, I'm just going to go through with the shine spray. The shine spray for me is a really important part to make the waves look really rich and shiny and it stops it looking less like a mermaid wave and gives it more of a kind of a looks feel when you use the shine spray. So I'm gonna split that section into two. I'm gonna pull the hair away from the face first and then into the face then away from the face. Remember you're just going backwards and forwards. A nice clamp. Just taking my time, especially on this front one because that's the kind of the money maker. That's the piece that's gonna fall around the face. So you wanna make sure it's really nice and defined. If you wanna go in a little bit tighter with the waves, you can make a tighter wave by just clamping it in tighter waves or you can do it much looser as well. Um, and as you can see, you get something that looks a bit like this. Now at this point, you just wanna leave it to cool. Don't do anything um, until you've done the whole head of hair. So I'm gonna follow that throughout. Now what we're gonna do is basically just do the same throughout the back. So starting at the nape, I always like to start at the bottom with the head of hair. Um, again, just splitting the hair into the amount of hair that you can flip in to your flat, flattening iron. Um, and again, literally keeping it flat at the roots. That's the most important part to keep it kind of that cool bell roll wave, is to keep it flat at the root. And then just going backwards and forwards, keeping minimum volume. And also just make sure you go all the way through to those ends. You should get that. Which I think looks really cool. It looks cool just like this, but we are going to dress it out after, which we'll do in the next step. All right, guys, to finish off with, I like to use this. This is the Color Wow Pop and Lock. It's a shellac that just gives the hair a really nice shine. Just one pump will do. Spread it throughout the palm of your hands. And I just kind of put it on the middle ends to give it a nice shine. 
and break it up and give it a bit of definition. But there you have the finished look. Really nice, beautiful, cool girl wave, um, effectively the flat iron waves. I love how shiny it is. And if you want to put your fingers through more, you can break it up. But I like it when it looks a little bit more controlled. But you know, if you do put your fingers through, it moves really, really nicely and you get that sexy kind of wave. But like I say, with minimum volume. So that's my take on the Cool Girl Wave. Um, let me know how you guys get on. I always love to see your um, your creations. Tag me in it. My Instagram is chrishappleton1. Um, and just have fun with it. Um, play with the flattening irons. Like I said, the Dyson GHD flattening iron is a great way to get the control. And one of my biggest tips is probably to use the Wow Shine Spray because I think for me, what makes the looks so good and less like a mermaid wave is how shiny it is.